the death of God of the Symbiotes, the Null. After Null killed Eddie Brock, the God of Light, Captain Universe, bonds to Eddie Brock's corpse and resurrects him, declaring that it has chosen him as its next avatar. On the other side, the Silver Surfer and Null prepares to face off, Null recalling Silver Surfer, Black. Preparing to resume their duel, the Surfer, restored to his chrome self by the God of Light, transforms his board into a great sword and scoffs that he remains unimpressed with Null, remarking that the God of Light has arisen and chosen a new host. Transforming his symbiote armor into a more combat-oriented appearance, Null sneers that the Silver Surfer should remember that no matter how far light travels, there will always be darkness waiting for it. Manifesting his Necrosword, Null remarks that in a way he admires the Silver Surfer and will give him a noble death, remembering him as a worthy opponent. Smirking, the Silver Surfer remarks that he isn't facing Null alone as members of the Avengers, X-Men, and Fantastic Four charge towards them. Before the battle can be joined, Eddie Brock, transformed into a Captain Universe form resembling Venom with glowing eyes and spider emblems and constellation-like patterns, lands between Null and the assembled heroes, saying he'll take it from here. As Spider-Man is shocked to see Eddie alive, Null grins and mockingly sneers that he's not impressed that his ancient nemesis chose a host he's already killed several times. As Null scoffs that Eddie can't possibly believe he can beat him, Eddie thinks to himself that Null is arrogant and thinks his victory is assured, but that while Null may have fought Venom, he's never fought Eddie Brock, the man of a thousand second chances, the comeback king, before. Reaching out his hands, Eddie summons Mjolnir and the Silver Surfer surfboard to himself, to Thor's incredulity. Saying that he thinks he can beat Null, Eddie merges Mjolnir in the Silver Surfer's board into a battle axe resembling Venom's spider emblem. Eddie lunges at Null, who evades and flies away with a snarl of rage. As Eddie flies after Null, Cyclops incredulously asks Captain America and Captain Marvel if he was hallucinating, only to be told to get his head in the game as a horde of symbiote-controlled civilians stampedes towards them. Confronted by a horde of symbiote dragons, Eddie thinks to himself that Null is afraid, hiding and throwing everything he can to buy time to escape. As the symbiote dragons try to devour him, Eddie shreds them with his axe and notes he's having fun. As Eddie shouts for Null to stop hiding and end this, Null brandishes his necrosword and snarls that if Eddie wants to die so badly, then all black will oblige. Eddie nonchalantly catches Null's necrosword and destroys it, grabbing the incredulous dark god by the throat and slamming him through the wall of a building. As Eddie prepares to behead him, Null snarls that he knows nothing of true darkness and activates the symbiote-controlled celestial. Thor reacting in horror and trying to rally the other heroes to stop it. Dodging the Celestial's energy blast, Eddie lops its head off with a single stroke of his axe and slams into the fleeing Null, plunging past Spider-Man, who smiles despite grumbling that he still hates symbiotes. Atop the Empire State Building, Eddie snarls that he remembers the pain and fear he felt when Null dragged him up from the sewers and ripped the Venom symbiote from him, returning the favor by ripping Null's symbiote armor from him and then contemptuously dropping him. Discarding his axe, Eddie flies down to the ground, Null picking himself up and snarling that even if Eddie kills him, he won't win. The darkness lives in Eddie's son, Dylan. Grabbing Null, Eddie flies into the air and punches through the symbiote barrier surrounding the earth. Null snarls that the void is eternal and that the abyss has teeth, Eddie retorting that he does as well before blasting Null with a point-blank blast of divine light from his jaws. Acknowledging that Null may be right, that the darkness is eternal, and that someday the void will consume all existence, Eddie plunges into the heart of the sun and says he doesn't care. Gripping Null by the throat, Eddie says that this is for Dylan before vaporizing Null's body with the uni power. Emerging from the sun and retracting his mask, Eddie hears the voice of the God of Light asking if he can feel anything. Eddie mentally replies he can hear voices calling to him, but can't understand them. As Eddie flies towards Earth, the God of Light tells him the voices belong to the symbiote hive celebrating their freedom.